Hello everyone. Uh, including this jersey, there are eight jerseys here hanging that I want to talk about and that we haven't featured in the video yet and I think it's time to look at a few as a little filler and I want to start off actually with a rather not necessarily a rare jersey but maybe an unusual jersey because you see here is all League A then I have a few League B which is Austria and Sweden and I have one League C team for now hanging my and this is my first Eastern European shirt and up until I got the Croatia away kit it was my only one Bulgaria home 2008-2009 um, first of all I got this in 2008 uh, from World Soccer store which is a US store I was living in the US and it was funny that the store had the um, the store was based out of Mebane in North Carolina, which was less than an hour away from where I was. And I was always thinking, oh, if I could get to their storage room and just have a look and maybe get a free pass and take a few jerseys there. That would have been my... I was passing by there uh, regularly going to watch hockey games in Raleigh. So, yeah. Got it from there. Why did I get Bulgaria? My wife is... My now wife. Back then she was friend or girlfriend. Uh, we studied together. She's from Bulgaria and so I had to get one of these and yeah, we also had other friends from Bulgaria and um, It's family. Austria and Bulgaria. That's family in a way the US as well So very simple shirt uh, white Green v-neck was also green sleeve cuffs. Uh, I like the red puma kit. So we have all three national colors I really don't like the crest. I like what Homa is doing to, uh, these days of having the lion here. This crest is awful. Get rid of this ball, make something more here. Uh, use the coat of arms. Bulgaria has so many nice national symbols. This crest is the worst thing. But what I like, of course, is that it's in Cyrillic. Uh, the Cyrillic lettering, that's what I like. I also like that it's, um, there's a little plasticity to it. Uh, let's see if we can pick it up. You see the white panels of the ball a little bit lower. Everything else is raised. So that's a nice feature that the Puma jerseys had back then. Um, other than that, yeah, there's some green side striping here. It has actually the nice ventilation that I liked in the 90s jerseys. It is quite well ventilated, uh, even the green side stripes here. So if I look on the back, there's the side stripes except for the panel here where name and numbers this is absolutely plain now there's a lot of sun but you see there's absolutely no ventilation here um overall a really nice jersey um i liked that puma template a lot i have an austria shirt in a similar template um and yeah the 2008 templates for puma were nice what they wasn't nice although nothing compared to what they have been done since of course is the font which was kind of this overly slanted uh dot pattern yeah i've worn this jersey actually quite some um most notable in the black scene bulgaria <laughs> because i was completely burnt i have only two skin tones red and white i prefer white and yeah, so I got completely burned at uh, one day at the beach and they said, well, in order to be protected, I better wear a shirt and I went even swimming with this jersey. Uh, yeah, for that, it's maybe a little bit too much beaten up. If you see here, there are a few pulls in the fabric on the bottom. But other than that, I think it's in decent shape. Even the cats, I think they are still sticking. The cats here are also raised. If you can see, they uh, have some quite some plasticity to it. Uh, the corresponding Austria jersey that I was wearing a lot uh, has the disadvantage that the cats are coming off already. So, yeah, I'm trying to be careful with these kits. Well, let me know what you think about this kit. Um, I think Bulgaria was not super successful. They weren't playing at the Euros that year. And also qualification for South Africa was not successful. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video, if you want to see any other shirts and yeah, I will subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these and I will talk to you soon. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. 
Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.